America's News Headquarters. Good to be with you. Good to be with you at home. There is now three or four major stories we are watching today. We'll get to a live report on that deadly boat fire in just a minute. First, the latest on Hurricane Dorian. That multiple deaths off the California coast where a major rescue operation is underway right now after a boat fought the top of the boat, but the rest, those unaccounted for, unfortunately sleeping in the cabins, never Horrific. had a chance to survive. Yeah. Really horrific. All right. We are also learning new details about the gunman behind the deadly drive-by shooting. We continue to track Hurricane Dorian as it turns slowly toward the East Coast. Having been the beneficiary in many hurricane zones <laughs> of Waffle House's dedication, I am eternally grateful. And what is amazing is I have been in Waffle Houses where they couldn't call to see if they were open or not because the phones didn't work. Oh, right. But Waffle House was still open. It was amazing. I know. Amazing. I really appreciated them in my college years as yes. well. They well, are always there for they're you. They're always there for night, you. Night, day, Hurricanes, after a long college. Night. Yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. All right, Fox News alert. Rather than a rescue effort, I'm Leland Vitter. Welcome back to America's News Headquarters. What just a horrific story, Julie, yeah. as you're learning about what was happening not only on the bridge but down below when this fire broke out. Yeah, those unaccounted for really didn't have a chance. No. They were sleeping and the yeah. five crew members jumped off board and now they are unaccounted for. So it is now a search and recovery mission. I'm Julie Banderas. We will get to that search and recovery mission in just a moment. But first, we got to talk about Hurricane Dorian. Mm -hmm. It has weakened just a bit. When I say just a bit, I'm talking